Lee continues to get closer to land, and we have a brand new tropical depression that just formed in the Atlantic. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. We, of course, going to track Lee first because that is going to impact land first. So for our friends in parts of New England and Canada, we got you. Also in Canada, I have the kilometers per hour for your wind speed for you. We're going to get to that part later in the video. And then later on, towards the end, we're going to break down the tropics in full. A brand new tropical depression just formed forecast to become a major hurricane will tell you where that is going and there's also an interesting new wave and another wave after that so we're keeping things really active in the tropics before we get into the video if you want to stay updated on the rest of hurricane season and the weather in general you have to hit subscribe please do that if you find this content helpful please give it a thumbs up it really does help us out a lot here is the visible satellite of hurricane lee still a very large system the wind field is very expansive. I'll show you the Hurricane Hunter flight, the most recent recon mission to just illustrate what that means for impacts into parts of Canada and to parts of New England. But there you go, an 80 mile per hour hurricane as we venture through the 11 o'clock advisory. Here is the latest track, again, expected to come ashore the center somewhere maybe extreme northeastern Maine, but it's really looking like it's more New Brunswick or the southern tip of Nova Scotia as a strong post-tropical storm, still with 65 mile per hour winds, maybe even 75 mile per hour winds again as it works Saturday night into uh, early Sunday across a lot of the Canadian Maritimes. I want to show you something from one of the more recent Hurricane Hunter missions, and this is kind of signs that this is starting to undergo its transition from something that is fully tropical in nature where it gets all of its strength from the warmer waters to becoming post-tropical or extra tropical all of these purple wind barbs again onto the right side of your screen you see my little mouse over here that is hurricane force winds up at flight level okay so i want to be clear that is at flight level so above the surface and they're going to be stronger the higher up you get into the atmosphere here is the center down here where you see that 963 number that's where the hurricane hunters flew through the center note that the winds are stronger the further you get away from the center now when you're looking at a well put together and strengthening hurricane the strongest of the winds are tightly packed right around the eye wall, the strongest part of the storm. So we're starting to see it, again, kind of disperse its strong winds. We have hurricane force winds at flight level way up to the top of your screen on the western side, and certainly it appears to be that the eastern side is going to be the stronger part of the storm. So again, that's really a heads up for New Brunswick and parts of Nova Scotia. Now, there are more tropical storm force winds at the surface, so I want to be clear about that. I'll show you that wind forecast uh, coming up in just a second here latest computer models again really doesn't matter at this point because we pretty much know where it is going to go but i just want to show you again for a complete kind of transparency there somewhere extreme northeastern maine or on the coast of new brunswick or in the southern tip of nova scotia impacts are going to be similar to wherever you are because this is such a large system here is the timeline this is the european model that's 11 o'clock in the morning on your friday and you see it trying to back back in towards Nantucket, Cape Cod. We're likely getting rain early Saturday morning. A little windy as well. I'll show you that wind forecast again coming up. And then as we get towards Saturday afternoon, that is 3 o'clock, likely making a landfall either on the southwest tip of Nova Scotia or a little bit later on into the evening across the coast of Maine or southern New Brunswick as well. So really, it's going to be Saturday is going to be the ugliest weather day. By Sunday, 4 o'clock in your afternoon, Maybe a little breezy, but you see the worst of that is still to come. Now here's a look at the wind speed. First in miles per hour, and then I'm going to show it to you in kilometers per hour for our friends in Canada. Again, Bangor, Maine, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. This is going to be Saturday now. That's what tomorrow shows, 10 o'clock, 40 mile per hour gusts. These are gusts now, not sustained winds. Again, want to be clear about that. You see 46 mile per hour on the southern tip of Nova Scotia. That goes up to 60 miles an hour into Yarmouth, Halifax, 50 mile per hour winds. These are gusts again. And then we'll continue to keep things very gusty through early Sunday morning. So that six o'clock, things are certainly winding down in terms of the wind speed, but nonetheless, it's a little breezy at times. Here you go, kilometers per hour. And I have more of Canada involved here for our friends in Newfoundland. So here you go. This is again in kilometers per hour. So for anybody watching from the United States and you see, oh my gosh, these wind speeds look crazy. Again, this is kilometers per hour. So I want to be completely clear about that. So 75 kilometers per hour is the southern tip of Nova Scotia. 
at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, 64 mile per hour gust as well uh, in Halifax. Strongest winds likely coming Saturday afternoon as this thing gets really close to shore and then eventually comes ashore, pushing 100 kilometers per hour in Yarmouth and then Halifax closer to 90 kilometers per hour. Cape Breton, we will see very strong winds as well. Gusty winds, tropical storm force winds. And then you see it there, Stratford, 76 kilometer per hour, uh, k kilometer per hour winds. It throws me off. It does. But I want to be clear for our friends in Canada here that are tuning in. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you. And then we're going to keep things pretty gusty through Sunday. There, 6 o'clock in the morning. Again, all that purple and red on your screen, meaning that we have those tropical storm forest winds continuing. That is 4 o'clock on your Sunday. And then eventually, we'll start to see things wind down. For us in Newfoundland, it is still going to be a little breezy out there. Again, wind gusts on the order of 40 to 60 kilometers per hour, maybe a little bit higher. While I see St. Pierre seeing that as well as we're closer to the ocean, a little less friction to deal with. But nonetheless, there you go for my friends in Canada. Appreciate you all. In terms of the rainfall amounts, again, it's really going to be eastern Maine. And then as we get to New Brunswick and then parts of Nova Scotia, where you see that red and yellow color, again, anywhere from two to three, maybe up to four inches, it is going to be moving pretty fast. It is going to be caught by the jet stream, and that's what's going to rip it. That's what is ripping it north, and that's what's going to bring it up and out. But that's also going to potentially add to some of the wind issues we're going to have because we have that extra oomph from the jet stream kind of yanking this thing further north. So again, watching that as well, I know some of the ground has been saturated up there, so it doesn't take much to kind of knock down trees. So that's what we are really going to be watching for you uh, moving forward. All right, on to the tropical update. This is going to be your full tropical update. First and foremost, this little X that was red here, these get updated every 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock Eastern. So we're not going to get another update until a little bit later on. But so that's why we still have an X there. But that is now Tropical Depression 15. Out ahead of another wave coming off of Africa, we have that yellow blob there right into the Atlantic over the Cabo Verde Islands. That is our next area that we are going to be watching closely. Behind that, there's another one. Stick with me for just one second. If you're still with me, give me a thumbs up. Here is Tropical Depression 15, though, and I mentioned earlier in the video that this could be approaching major hurricane status, and by early next week, you see it there, Monday, 8 o'clock, a strong cat to 100 mile per hour storm, 120 mile per hour category 3 hurricane by the time we get to Tuesday morning, and then there's Wednesday, but you see us here in Bermuda, we talked about this, we've been talking about this for the past few days, that we'd likely be in the crosshairs again of a strong system we just keep on dodging these as well. We had tropical storm force conditions courtesy of Lee on the island, and we might be back in that same ballpark again. So we're going to be watching that closely for you as well. Now, that only goes out. The cone only goes out five days. So I want to show you the model here. This takes us out 10 days. So here we, of course, have Margo, which is now a tropical storm, by the way. Here is Lee. This is 15. Here is that yellow blob thing right on through here. So Lee goes up and out. There's another little non-tropical disturbance that impacts us on the 20th there, so in five days. So again, just an early heads up for that. Here is Tropical Depression 15. Here is that yellow blob, and then it does get really close. Again, that was Bermuda, so it if you kind of missed that play there, it got really close to the islands. We're going to be watching that closely for you by the time we get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Now, that yellow thing kind of goes away, but then here's another system. This is way out there now. This is September 25th, and again, by the way, we're looking for the kind of big red areas here. That's the spin in the low levels of the atmosphere. Meteorologically, it's called vorticity, but there you have it. There is a system that's kind of riding low again. Uh, we're going to be watching this because we have our high pressure that's kind of right there now so that's interesting just as kind of a first glance long range thing we don't like that particularly well because a further west bermuda high if it doesn't take a trip out like that it's going to have an opportunity to come further either into the caribbean or somewhere down here we'll see what happens again i mentioned this in the last couple of videos we kind of have to watch to see what happens and how the steering currents recover after getting kind of beaten up by margo on the east side of that bermuda high and then on the west side of other Bermuda High by Lee. So a lot to watch still. We are still in the peak of hurricane season, of course, as we venture through the middle and latter stages of September. So keep it here if you want to stay updated on these new waves. And of course, the weather in general, the nice cool down in the eastern side of the United States, the much appreciated and welcome rain in Texas. 
you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out a lot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate you guys. I truly appreciate all the new subscribers. We'll catch you soon.